so hello everyone uh, in this web series uh, we will be talking about a, a competitive programming question uh, that is uh, based on a programming paradigm of divide and conquer so here is the question uh, among us that uh, we have to find an element in a sorted array such that uh, that element uh, should have a frequency greater than the uh, half of the size of the array length uh, so uh, we need to break the problem statement into uh, subcategories so that uh, we can analyze it uh, in a much uh, better sense so uh, as i have said uh, we have a sorted array and uh, we have to find a majority repeating element such that the frequency should be greater than the size of the half of the length of an array okay so there are two uh, key takeaways uh, first one is the sorted array and the second one is the major repeating element before diving to any of the coding section or the approaches first we will look at uh, what is the problem statement uh, with the help of an example so here is an example uh, so this is an example having a size of 9 and indices ranging from 0 to 8 so over here our answer is 1 because the 1 is repeating for maximum number of time that is 5 so the size of an array is 9 and when we divide the size of an array 9 by 2 we got 4.5 so the number of time the 1 is repeating is 5 and the 5 is greater than 4.5 that's why the answer is 1 over here neither 2 neither 3 so uh, I hope you understand uh, what the problem statement is all about and uh, when an array is given to you what is the answer uh, that one must expect okay so now we I will be I will be discussing uh, two steps. The first step is for suppose this is an array, and uh, I have divided an array into two parts. That is the first half of an array and the second half of an array. I will be iterating only the first half of an array. The reason why because as our problem statement says, we want to find an element, a majority ele element that is repeating for a frequency of more than the half of the size of an array. So if I wouldn't get an element in the first half, there are, there are no chances that I could get an element in the second half of an array. I hope this makes sense and you are very much clear with this, this statement. Second thing is array of i should be equal to equal to a of i plus n, n by 2. So the second statement what it is trying to say is that for suppose uh, let's take the first half of an array. So this is an index as 0 and uh, take an array of size 10. So uh, I divided uh, the 10 into uh, two parts. So 0 to 5 is with, me, is, is with me. So I will take an element that is present in array of 0 and compare it with element that is present in A of indices 5. So if they matches, I will return true otherwise I will not. So uh, this statement should be clear with you be uh, because as the problem statement says it is an sorted array. So there are no chances that any other element could be present in between these two elements. So if these two elements are found to be matched I will return true otherwise I will not I hope this will make sense and if if you are still uh, in doubt now we will dive onto coding section so it will make uh, much more so here uh, is the uh, coding part uh, so I have taken a different uh, set of example over here so this is an array the size of an array is 7 so I divided by 7 by 2 that is 3.5 so uh, as I told you earlier that I will be dividing an array into two parts. So uh, I have divided an array uh, into two parts based upon the size of an array. So if it's even then n by 2 that's fine. But if it's odd then I have incremented it by 1. So here the, the size is 7. So 7 divided by 2 that is 3.5. So I have taken the floor of it that is 3 and then I have added 1. That's why uh, the, the last index that I will be iterating is 4. Now what I have done is that I have uh, iterated a loop from i is equal to 0 to i up to 4 and I have incremented it. So what I have done is that I have called is majority a uh, function. So what this function tried to do is like it uh, it compares uh, the element present at indices i plus half of the size of an array plus the current indices so what it does is that it combines the half of the size of an array plus the uh, element that is present on the current indices and if uh, both are found to be matched it returns to otherwise 
it will return false so in this way one is returned so when i run this program i have already uh, run it for you so one does not appear for four number of times two also does not appear for uh, four number of times three does not appear for four number of times and four but four does appear for four number of times that's why it's printed as four is printed for four number of times so as i have taken 0 2 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 so if i would have iterated the last half of an array then it doesn't make any sense so like as when i come over here like 4 on this and this is like 0 1 2 3 so what this statement wants to demonstrate is that 0 1 2 3 3 plus 4 that is 7 so these two elements found to be equal that's why i have written true and that's why 4 has appeared for 4 number of times now i sub i hope that you have understood it very well and also the reason why i haven't i haven't iterated the last half of the array now we will look so this is a order of n complexity example having a time complexity whereas the space complex complexity remains order of 1 because we haven't used any extra space apart from what we have already taken fr from the problem statement that is this one so if I, I would have taken an another array and i have would have put uh, or manipulated into that then the space complexity would have increased but in this case i i haven't done anything of such sort of activity so the space complexity remains order of one whereas the time complexity remains order of n though we are iterating it by order of n by 2 but while taking an example of big o notation it goes to order of n so now uh, we will try to uh, decrease the time complexity so now we will use uh, another programming paradigm that is divide and conquer so now to decrease the time complexity of our problem statement uh, we will be using an approach that is divide and conquer so in what divide and conquer try to do is that it takes a bigger set of problem it try to divide into uh, smaller sub problems and then solve it so similarly uh, we will be taking this approach so uh, one uh, uh, thing that uh, you will not uh, notice is that when an element is having a frequency of half of the size of an array then it will reside in the midpoint of an array so what we will uh, do with such a lead is that we will divide an array into two parts and we will try to find the initial position of that element in the first half and we will try to find the a final position of that element in the second half so if there is an element that is having a frequency of more than half of the size of an array then that element by in coincidentally will reside in the center of an element so by uh, by subtracting the final position and the initial position if we find if we get a size of an element that is gr greater than the half of the size of an element then we got our answer otherwise we we won't so uh, in order to find the initial position and the final position of an element we will be using our binary search uh, as it is a sorted array so it will takes uh, it will take uh, the time complexity of order of log n so if you uh, if you are able to understand uh, uh, what we are going to do then it's good for you otherwise now uh, we will dive in uh, onto the coding section and this will give you a, a much more better clarity so in this step what i have tried to do is that i have tried to reduce the time complexity from order of n to order of log n so in order to reduce the time complexity from order of n to order of log n i have used a programming paradigm that is divide and conquer so i have used divide and conquer uh, by dividing our uh, problem into two parts and how by by how means i am dividing it into two parts is that you can see over here there is an array and three is a majority element so by default in the middle of the element three will repeat itself so we will check we will take the middle of an element we will try to find out whether it's a majority element or not and if we couldn't find then the array does not have a majority element 
whose frequency is greater than half of the size of an array. So similarly, what we have done is that we have taken the middle of an element that is three over here. We try to find out whether three is a majority element or not. And if we couldn't get three as a majority element, we have terminated our program. So what I have done is that I have found the middle position of an array. So how I found the middle element um, position of an array is that if our array is of size e1 then n by 2 and if it's odd then n by 2 plus 1 I have called a function that is is majority. So as I said we are using divide and conquer methodology over here. So what I have tried to do is that I have taken a middle element that, that is 3. I have divided into two parts that is the first half and the second half. In the first half I try to find the initial position of this element 3 from where the 3 is starting. And in the second half, I try to find the terminating position of 3. So where the 3 element ends. So over here, you can see that so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the, in this way, this will be divided into two parts. This will be divided. And this will be divided. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 7 is there. So 7 divided by 2, that is 3.5. So 3.5, so this is 3.5, so this is an odd, so I will uh, add 1 by taking a floor of it, that is uh, so that the initial part will be 0 to 4 and the rest part will be 5 to 7. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is a 4 and the, the, the rest part is this one. So the I got an initial position of 3 and the final position as 6. So there are 4 elements. So in this way, uh, this uh, binary search will return us two things. That is the initial position and the final position. We will subtract final position minus initial position plus one because we want to take the initial position as well. And we will check whether it is greater than half of the size of an array. If we found it, then we got our answer. So I hope you got uh, how, how the pro divide and conquer methodology works with the help of this uh, uh, problem statement.